welcome to my channel. I am Jessica and today we are going to get into how I curl my hair and what products I use to style my hair curly. So I'm going to show you a couple of products I use before we get into it. But before I but before I just rinse my hair off very quickly, I did apply um, the Josie Moran Argan Oil as a little treatment last night so my curls can be a little bit more hydrated and strengthened as well just a small treatment the products that I'll be using today I typically just use a deep conditioner on my hair I don't really add three four five six products to my curls and I'm gonna use Botanica very natural ingredients product you can get this at a Target it was gifted to me by my sister and I've been trying it for a while and it's been doing really well to my hair it's it just looks like a deep conditioner like this I used a lot of it so far and it smells really good um, this is what I'm gonna apply to my curls with my diffuser right after I apply my deep conditioner I am going to add um, a hair protecting spray I've been liking this one so far but I'm still trying to look for a more natural clean product for my hair of course when you have curly hair, you want sulfate-free products. I'm not sure if this is like that, but I really like this smell. This is Prep Rally from Dry Bar, and it's a heat protecting spray, but also detangler, so it's awesome. And usually with curly hair, you want to use a wide tooth comb. I think that's how you say it, wide comb, wide tooth comb, wide comb. But I don't know where to put mine, <laughs> of course. So I'm just going to use this comb. It's like a wet brush kind of. It does its job. I'm going to brush out my hair with this. And that's about it. Oh, and a diffuser. This is an attachment for the blow dryer. I purchased this on Amazon. I'll definitely put a link below. It's probably around $20. It's very easy um, and simple. And yeah, so let's get into my curly hairstyle routine so first i am going to brush out my hair i start from the bottom because why do i start from the bottom i just start from the bottom because it's easier and you're not really pulling on your hair and yeah i have so much hair but let me tell you about my day. I had a tough workout. Not that my workout was really hard today. It was lower body. But it was just so much work. I was exhausted. Can you believe day two? I was sore. And today is day three. So tell me about it. Uh, I had front squats. And I really actually love front squats. But it took me like... 45 minutes to get through my front squats and the weights weren't even that heavy it's like I don't know why it took me that long I was just super sore I was exhausted like my body is taking a beating from my workout I mean I guess that's a good thing um working hard at the gym but it's just it was tough uh let's see this hair here I'm almost done I know there could be gentler ways to brush your hair but we're not gonna be here forever combing out my hair imagine I did a whole video on combing out my hair and it took all day and if I was doing it super gently that's not happening I think it's quicker if you just start from the bottom and work your way up but let me not complain because imagine if I had super long long curly hair Oof, I'll be here forever I don't even know what type of curls I have. I don't know which letter it is. I think it's in the C's. I think. I don't know. I don't know which letter. I never really. I mean, I did look into it, but I forgot. All right. Let me brush it back. I like to brush my hair back. And I honestly like to part my hair when I'm drying it, too. And, of course, when I'm applying the products, I like to be more even. So my hair is... It's pretty wet. It's not like damp at all oh my god there 
but I think the wide comb will be better because it'll probably be thicker pieces. But this is my hair, all nice and wet. I think it's, let's see, it's like up to here. I think I want my hair a little bit longer, up to my waist. But those are my hair goals. This is my hair like all wet. And where is my product? Here it is. So let me grab this. It's opened. So I'm going to grab like this much of product. I know I use a lot of product. But the good thing, this product doesn't really leave your hair all, all like thick. You know, when you add a lot of hair product, it just feels so heavy to your hair. It doesn't do that. So that's why I like it. But honestly, there's days I don't use the deep conditioning mask and I just use conditioner because it's just easier sometimes to do that. But I'm gonna show you my cute curl look. But honestly, I think all the time I have hair cute and curly, it just looks great with any product. Well, sulfate free products specifically, but I feel like this one, adds a little bit more volume to my curl, like give, not volume, make my hair more lively and healthier just because of the ingredients that it has. So you see, I only added the conditioner here, like this much, all of this has a product. So now I'm gonna take another handful and apply it more towards my roots. And I go back. I know. I don't know why I'm doing this because I just parted my hair and I have to repart my hair. Ugh. Story of my life. I do everything twice. So annoying. Alright. Like literally Jessica, why? Anyways, this is it. I have all the product I need in my hair. Maybe this is why I'm running out of products. So I just did that little split again. It's not like super even, but it's even enough. There. I think something's my eye. Is it? There. There. I can't, oh, I can't even see it. There, I got it. Cool. We're there. So this is my hair. So usually when I'm not using diffuser, I scrunch up my hair like this. But because I'm using a diffuser, I don't have to do this for long. I do this for probably like five minutes and then I let my hair dry throughout the day so it'll take about four to six hours for my hair to dry and that's pretty much it but today we're gonna go full effect 20 minutes 10 20 minutes dry hair over here no four to six hours we don't have time for four to six hours because I have other things to do, like watch Netflix. I'm just kidding. But I do have other things to do. Like, I don't know. All right, so this is what I'm gonna use. I don't know how much like power this thing has. I know usually some blow dryers does it. This, I have no idea, but it does the job. So what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna just turn it on right there. And I have it at medium can't even hear me so what I'm gonna use I'm gonna turn it on I am going to put it at medium then to high heat depend how quickly I get through this and let's make some magic happen with a hair diffuser forgot to add my heat protecting spray failed all right let's add it really quick because i forgot and that's like the most important part killing my hair already spray 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 it smells so good i can't believe i forgot i wish i had an audience and they say oh you forgot your heat protector spray save your life this is literally like moisturizer the, your spf Honestly, this is like the hair type of SPF to protect your curls or 
just your hair in general, not just curls. All right, let's get back into it. And I've been using medium heat, so we're okay. <laughs> Today, how my curls came out, they came out okay. I feel like I could have done a better job with my curls. Maybe my hair wasn't wet enough that the product didn't super absorb. Or I had to use a little bit more heat to my hair to avoid the frizziness. Because you know if you hit your dryer is a little bit too cold, it will leave it frizzy. But I think also my wide comb would it my wide comb would have improved my curls and make them a little bit much bigger. Right now they're kind of tall. right now they're kind of more tighter curls, which is fine. I still am in love with my curls. I prefer my curls being air dried rather than a diffuser, but of course a diffuser is great when you're trying to get things done and have dry hair. You do not want to go out looking like a wet dog. I've done that. I still do that. So try to avoid that. And of course, it's getting colder outside, so just don't recommend wet hair it's not the best and I mean it's not the best but my hair is still super cute love the curls really bouncy and full hair well I'm gonna style my hair by taking these two pieces here I have like long layers too but I did that just to improve my ends because I get split ends anyways sidetracking here I take these two pieces here and I'm gonna add a clip And I'm gonna add a clip here, just a simple clip. And voila, you're done. Gorgeous curls for the day, fresh curls. That's pretty much it. That's what I usually do with my hair. And if you want to maintain your curls and go to sleep with them, I do recommend a simple hairstyle before you go to bed and that's with a hair tie. Let me show you. If I can find my hair tie, where is it? are you okay so this is not the recommended hair tie you want a thicker scrunchy okay, so I use this hair tie scrunchy pretty thick cute like satiny type so I use that I do this to my hair I put it all the way up all the way up like this all the way up to the front to the front and you I'm just kidding to the front and you tie it right here so you see sideways front right there so you tie it like that I do two I only do two loops because it's just more comfortable and this is the pineapple hair style for your curly hair when you go to bed on your curls whatsoever and that's that. <laughs> so let's put this back down. Oh, all right, my curls. Okay. So comment down below and share with me what are your curly hair girl routine tricks? How do you style your curls? Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I look forward to chatting with you soon. Bye.